optics ordering points to identify clustering structure to overcome the difficulty of db scan to set the parameter epsilon and min points for the real world or high dimensional data set can be done with optics okay the optics rather than providing data set clustering explicitly it computes the augmented clustering ordering for automatic and interactive clustering analysis so it's basically provides a ordering of the cluster okay this ordering represents the density based clustering structure of the data it contains the information that is equivalent to the density based clustering obtained from a wide range of parameter setting cluster ordering can be used to extract the basic cluster information so whenever this optic is used you will get the cluster ordering and this can be used to extract the basic uh, cluster information like cluster center or arbitrary shape cluster as well as it provide the intrinsic structure of the cluster given a minimum point the density based cluster with respect to higher density are completely contained in the cluster with respect to the lower density okay this is the main point involved in the uh, optics that is if you are given with a mean point the density based cluster with respect to higher density are completely contained with the uh, with respect to the lower density a higher density point should be processed first and find the higher density cluster first so this happens by storing the clustering information using two pieces of information one is core distance core distance of an object p is the smallest epsilon value that makes p a core object if p is not a core object then the core distance of p is remains undefined okay next by using a diagram i'll explain how it is done what is reachability distance so reachability distance according to the definition we have the reachability distance of an object q with respect to another object b is greater value of the core distance and p an euclidean distance between p and q if p is not a core object the reachability distance between p and q remains undefined i will explain this with the help of a diagram okay so here we have a cluster of radius or epsilon 6 mm and minimum point is equal to 5 let a point p and there will be a radius there is an epsilon which is 6 mm i will start drawing uh, the circle with that so one already is there so minimum point is 5 let us check how we can do this so i am having uh, one here two three four five six seven eight so i am having uh, from p points i am having a point here 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 okay so uh there will be total there is eight points in it so does it satisfy the minimum condition yes it satisfies the minimum condition now from p we will draw a cluster which is at the maximum distance okay which is at the maximum distance and consist of minimum five points one point is already here 2 3 4 5 okay so we'll draw this with this we'll start drawing a circle and this can be taken as epsilon dash let it be 3 mm okay ah then this is called as the core distance next you have to find out the reachability distance so reachability distance is drawn from the greater value of core distance p okay the greater value of core distance p no and here what will be the reachability of these points what will be the reachability of this point this point and this point if you draw 
a line like this okay what will be the reachability of these points let it be q1 okay uh, p comma q1 will have the core distance that is epsilon that is 3 mm we will draw like this this is the largest point involved here and we will mark it as q2 next what will be the reachability distance of p comma q2 it will be the euclidean distance between p comma q2 okay this is how you find the reachability distance and the reachability distance and the core distance will be in the stored in the optic to find the clustering order okay this is what uh, optic states and the complexity of the optics is n log n which is the same complexity of db scan i hope the student it is okay for you thank you for watching my video